take 12. Hello guys and welcome back to the vlog. So a couple of weeks ago we were up that mountain over there, Chavan, and I was so inspired. We're back here again, but this time we're going to be climbing Egarn, which you might be able to see right behind me there. So yeah, the plan is to trek up the side of this mountain, top of Egarn, then walk along and then descend back down through Devil's Kitchen. As you might have seen, we've got my bud Jay with me as well, who was in the Kinder Scout video about a month or so ago. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to today. Hope we're gonna get some really dramatic skies. As you can see, there's a ton of cloud around today as well. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna get some great landscape photography opportunities. So yeah, let's get the show on the road. Let's get the bags packed and get set. So I've come up about halfway, I would have said now, and uh, got this lovely shot looking back down towards Lynn Ogwin, and we've got this jaggedy rocks here on the left-hand side. So yeah, basically what I'm doing, I'm using these rocks on the left-hand side to kind of lead the eye through the scene and down out towards the valley. And we've got this drama in the sky here with all this lovely dark grey clouds as well. So yeah, there's lots of dappled light hitting the valley floor as well, which kind of really adds to the shot, I think. But the shot's really simple actually, I've got no filters apart from a circular polarizer and the polarizers just allow me to take the shine off the water down there which uh, just helps the composition overall and just adds a bit more detail to the sky as well, yeah, so overall it's pretty simple. Got F8, ISO 200 and about 250th of a second I believe and about 22 mil. so yeah, all in all pretty standard shot looking down the valley and yeah, I really like this one so uh, in terms of focusing I'm just focusing on these rocks here. Straightforward shot, I think I quite like it though. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get the gear packed up and then we're gonna walk around this ridge and over towards Devil's Kitchen. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get a shot back towards the valley and hopefully I'll be able to get these two lakes in that shot as well. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, quite, quite a nice shot hopefully for later on this afternoon. And there's also quite a few waterfalls as well coming down because it's been quite a lot of rain over the last few days as well. So. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we're going to get a few more shots this afternoon. So yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this one up now. Hope you like it. It is an epic walk and it's just fabulous weather today, it really is. But this last sort of 100 metres or so looks particularly tricky. There's a couple of people on there trying to get up and they've been on there for a while now actually. They've made little progress to be honest. So yeah, looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, it does look like a bit of a scramble towards the top there. Uh, a lot of loose shale and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be quite, quite good fun I think.
More often than not, finding good light in the landscape is the real challenge, especially when hiking a route such as today. You have very little time to dwell and wait for that light to come. Fortunately though, after reaching the valley floor, I noticed the clouds forming over Egarm. To start with, it didn't look like much of a shot at all, but after a few seconds, the sun broke through, illuminating the face with some beautiful rays of light. It completely transformed the scene, and fortunately, I had enough time to quickly set the tripod up and capture a shot. Wow guys, it's just been an incredible day today, it really has. That hike is uh, seriously good, I definitely recommend it. <clears throat> it's pretty tough going to get to the top of Egan, but the walk along the ridge through Devil's Kitchen is just spectacular. The walk down Devil's Kitchen is pretty sketchy, but the views out that way are absolutely incredible and so worth, uh, worth the, you know, the effort and the hard work. So yeah, highly recommended uh, hike if you're ever in the Ogwin Valley. I'll be putting a blog post together about the hike as well, tell you the route, um, kind of the distance and the height, and all the things to watch out for along the way as well. So please do go and check that out on the website. I'll leave the link in the description for that. Photographically, it's been a bit of a challenge today. It's been one of those, wherever we've been, the light hasn't been quite right for a shot. Um, we've you know, done this big circuit, come back down to Ogwin Falls, actually just now see if there was a shot back up and the light wasn't right for that either. But you know, I think that's landscape photography. You're not always going to get, you know, shot after shot after shot. And uh, being out in the great outdoors is really what it's all about, you know, and uh, trying to find a composition. But don't be too downhearted if you don't find that perfect shot. And, uh, you know, that's been the case for today, really. But purely enjoyable, thoroughly enjoyable day. Absolutely loved it. Great to spend some time with Jay as well out here again. He's first time he's been to the Ogwin Valley and he's absolutely loved it too. So. That was really cool. So I'm gonna end the video here, guys. You might like to check out some of my previous vlogs and some landscape photography tips videos as well. And if you wanna subscribe, if you haven't done so already, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button down the bottom there for more weekly content, landscape photography related. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, it's been fantastic to have you along and I'll see you next week. Cheers.